This is my Reddit account, it's Wes Frank, and all of these comments were generated by AI. I got lots of them. I think I have over 1,000 here for all different Reddit threads. I didn't do it just for the karma. I had a brilliant idea, or at least I thought so at the time, to get traffic to my website, creator.com, but in a roundabout way. I would help people in a related subreddit. So Creator was an agency that turned long-form video content into short-form content. And my plan was to target the subreddit NewTubers, because people posting in this subreddit probably have a YouTube channel, and they might need help with turning their long-form content into YouTube shorts. So the idea was I comment and help people in the subreddit using a bot, and if they like my response, they click into my profile and then visit my URL, or they start a chat with me and then I can manually respond to them and hopefully make a sale. This was all fine and dandy until it all blew up in my face. So in this video, I'm gonna share the story. We're gonna look at the Reddit thread that called me out as a bot. And then I'm gonna show you how to build this if you wanna try it out for yourself. So learn from my mistakes. This is the Reddit bot, let's check it out. So it was pretty cool. Each time I logged into my Reddit account, I would see my karma points go up and up. I think it got to 600 at one point, but then one day I logged on and the karma points were crashing down. Every time I refreshed the page, it'd be less and less karma, so I knew something was up. So I investigated the subreddit and I found this thread, and they finally had enough. The title is, AI replies to post here feel redundant at best and actually harmful to a creator at worst. And it goes, I've noticed this one account here, it's Wes Frank who just seems to have been using ChatGPT or another AI to reply to every post here. These posts are often useless information that isn't applicable anymore. I saw one suggesting the OP look into Nintendo's creator program, which hasn't even existed for years, or it just flat out wrong and takes up space. What frustrates me the most of these low effort generated comments is that there's a lot of really new creators who don't know any better and will try to follow what the comment says. This goes directly against the overall feel of the sub and can cause new creators more strife as they try to follow out of date or flat out wrong advice that was auto-generated by AI. I feel as though low effort comments that just spam useless replies shouldn't be allowed here. I don't even understand the end goal of this guy. And if anything, he's just demonstrating that he doesn't properly know how to utilize AI. So I found this thread, I was reading through the comments, and it looks like a lot of people kind of got the hint that this was a bot. So if I was to remake this, I'd kind of change the prompt. We're gonna look into what I use later. This was another big giveaway. It made multiple comments per minute, and no human can do that. So we'd need to better space it out. So a lot of this thread is people just trying to figure out if it was actually a bot. Yes, it was. This person said I was deleting my comments. I wasn't deleting anything, so I don't know how they got that. This person made a joke that he blends right in with the people who give advice on this subreddit. This user realized that I was just doing an experiment for a video, but everyone else was pretty angry. But it's also not a good look when your own bot replies in the thread about itself. And what's so funny is it actually realized that the thread was about the bot and it commented, with I, I appreciate your feedback and understand that incorrect or outdated information can be frustrating, especially for new creators looking for guidance. I love that it was self-aware here. It even says it will commit to better manage and monitor the AI. But as soon as this thread was posted, I shut down the bot. That wasn't my whole point with this experiment. Obviously it needs some fixing, but the potential is still there. The possibility is somewhere in this. We just have to figure it out. Now, let me teach you how to make it. For this bot, I used Pabli Connect. What Pabli Connect is, it's like a Zapier, a make.com. This app is in the same realm. The reason I chose this over those other platforms is one, Zapier is so expensive and you don't get that many tasks or what they call zaps per month. Make.com, that app would have worked too, but again, it's a little on the pricier side. This was the cheapest one, but we also ran into a major issue that we'll talk about in a bit. So if you guys were gonna try this again, maybe start with make.com and see how it goes. 
but in your Pabli Connect dashboard, you're gonna click Create Workflow, and let's call this Reddit Commenter. First off, we need a trigger. A trigger is basically when something happens, it's gonna start the entire workflow. So in our case, we wanna start the workflow when there's a new post in a subreddit of our choice. So I'm gonna search for the app Reddit and click this. And in the trigger event section, we're gonna select new post. Now we have to connect our Reddit account. So I'm gonna click connect. And I already have a Reddit connection, but if you don't have one, you're gonna click add new connection and follow the steps. But for now, I'm gonna click save. And now we have to choose the subreddit. It says here that the subreddit is the text after r forward slash. So I don't wanna use new tubers again for this example because they already hate me enough. So let's find a subreddit. Let's say I was a personal trainer and I wanted to find new clients that I could train to lose weight, gain muscle, gain strength. I would target a subreddit like r lose it. And this subreddit is a place for people of all sizes to discuss healthy and sustainable methods of weight loss. So we're gonna grab lose it. We're gonna go here to the subreddit and type in lose it and now click save and send a test request. And like a zap, Pabli Connect sends an API call to the Lose It subreddit and it gets back this information, specifically the newest post in the subreddit. So I'm gonna take this, copy it, let's paste it in, and here, 12 minutes ago, this user posted 30 day accountability challenge day 14. And if I go to the subreddit and go to new, you can see our post is the one at the top of the list. So that's a success, it's grabbing the newest post. I can minimize this. Next, we need an action. And for this, I'm using ChatGPT. I want ChatGPT to read the text in the post and then make a comment. So I'm gonna click this, let's find ChatGPT. Here we go. The action event is gonna be ask ChatGPT. Let's connect. Again, I already have an existing connection but if you don't click add new connection and it just makes you add your open AI API key. I click save. Now we get to select our model. We have GPT-4, GPT-3.5 Turbo, 0301. That has been discontinued, so don't select that. And then GPT-3.5 Turbo. If you want better quality outputs, select GPT-4. If you want cheaper outputs, select GPT-3.5 Turbo. I wanna make this look human, so I want the best responses. Let's click GPT-4. And the prompt is, you are a fitness trainer named Wes GPT, but you would put your own name there. You've been helping people lose weight, gain muscle, and feel better about themselves for over five years. You are an accredited personal trainer with a degree, and I wrote CSEP, which stands for Certified Personal Trainer. Respond to this post in an intelligent and thoughtful way. I'm thinking because it's lose it, we want to be thoughtful. Body image issues can be tough on a person, so we don't want to be harsh or mean. I tell the AI to not use exclamation marks and that each response should be very short, only one paragraph long, and should sound natural. We want to sound like a human. We also have to add the post title and post content into our prompt. So I'm going to go post colon, and then down here you can enter data that you got from previous steps. So let's click this and I'm gonna scroll down to data title, enter that in, and then add the post content. Let's make this easier to see. Here, it's called self text. So what we got in our prompt is a task and our post title, and then what that user wrote. All right, we're ready. We can hit save and send a test request. All right, here's our response. I'm gonna scroll down. Let's copy the text, and I'm gonna open it in a WordPad so we can read it. Hello, and congrats on reaching day 14 of your accountability challenge. It sounds like you're making excellent progress. Logging your calorie intake before eating is a smart way to stay accountable. Keep it up. A rest day is just as important as workout days for recovery and overall wellness, so enjoy your time off. Journaling, plan self-care activities, and fostering holiday cheer, all these habits contribute to a robust mental and emotional health. And then it ends with, remember, fitness and health are not only about the body, but also the mind and the soul. Your gratitude and your focus on future health goals are signs of a positive and proactive attitude. Keep going. Your commitment is inspiring. So that's perfect to me. Let's minimize this. Now we got to add one more step. I'm going to click add action step. We're going to find Reddit. Click this. 
but this time we're going to submit a comment. Let's connect our Reddit account, hit save. Now for the parent link full name, we have to grab that data from the first trigger step. So I'm going to click in here. We're going to find that first step. And what we're looking for is something called the data name right here. It took some scrolling to find it. Don't ask me why they need that. That must be some back end Reddit data. That means we're linking the comment response to this post. And then we got to post our comment. So we're going to take what we generated in step two in the message content. And now that we're all finished, let's hit save and send a test request. And we get back this confirmation. And if we scroll down, we can actually find a link to our comment. Let's copy this. Let's paste it in. We have to add reddit.com. And here we have our brand new comment on this person's 30 day accountability challenge post where this user will be able to read it or other people viewing the post and they can upvote it, downvote it, reply or click into my profile and then maybe go to my website. So those are the three steps. This triggers when a new post happens on Reddit in the subreddit of your choice. Then we make an API call to ChatGPT to make a response and then we submit that response to the post. This icon here says that it's going to check for new posts every eight hours. But a problem with Pably Connect is when it checks for posts, it grabs all of the posts that happened in the last eight hours. And on a subreddit like NewTubers, that was like 50 to 75 new posts. So my bot was going crazy and making so many comments all at once. I wasn't able to find a workaround for this. Adding a delay step doesn't seem to delay the trigger, like it will create multiple workflows still at the same time. It'd be nice if the workflow finished once before starting again, because then you could add a delay. My best solution was to create a post scheduler. So I'm going to click into this. And what I did was every day at 7 a.m. Eastern time, I would turn that Reddit auto poster on. So it would start off every day at 7 a.m. I would turn it on. And then I would run it for 30 minutes and then I turn it off again. And in that 30 minutes, instead of making 50 to 75 posts, the API call would only have time to make 20 to 25, but still it was so much. I tried lowering this time to something like 10 minutes, but if there was no new post in that 10 minutes, the workflow wouldn't even run. And I couldn't get past this problem. So if anyone finds a solution, please write it in the comments below. If I were to do this again, I'd probably choose a subreddit with way less people. So this subreddit, Natural Bodybuilding, has 241,000 members compared to Lose It, which has 3.9 million. So you're getting hundreds of more posts in Lose It than you do in Natural Bodybuilding. So if your bot does go haywire, it's only answering to a few posts instead of hundreds. So that's the Reddit comment bot. I'll have to put a disclaimer to use at your own risk. I'm lucky my Reddit account didn't get banned. I can still use it. And I think a lot of people forgot about it, but it was a popular topic at the time. Here I have some other bots, like an auto tweeter, a YouTube comment responder, and an auto post to Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit. I've turned every bot off as of two months ago, but these all work as expected. If you're interested to see how I made these, please write in the comments below. Or if you have an idea for a new bot, let me know that too. I'm fascinated with automation and I like to automate as much as possible. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace.